everyone, I hope you guys are well and that you're having a great day. Today's video is a very highly, very highly, a highly requested one and it is my contour and highlight routine. I asked recently what you guys wanted to see and this was definitely one of the most requested looks. So I'm going to take you through how I contour and highlight my face including my cheekbones, my nose, my lips, my forehead and I did learn the majority of my tricks from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Mario himself. So I have a whole post on everything I learned from him and the day we spent together and I'll link that post below but without further ado welcome my very up close and personal face it's gonna come at you in three two one so starting everything off I've already applied my base and seeing as I don't really do this contour and highlight routine every day it's mainly for pictures I'm using my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation next gotta conceal these under eye bags and they are looking very present today so I'm using my Tarte CC under eye corrector first. normally what I do to see my bags is I stick my chin down into my neck and then my bags look much more present and I dare you to try and do this without laughing and then I just go and pat the product in with my ring finger from the corner of my eye all the way down a little bit and I find that using my finger with this product works so much better than using a brush because it really meshes nicely with the concealer next is where the big concealing times happen and I normally take my concealer in a triangle area from the corner of my eye down to the corner of my nose and all the way winging it out to the end of my brow. And today I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in a shade two shades lighter than my original skin tone. Here I am just slathering the concealer on. I bet you've never seen so much concealer application going on in your life, seriously. But I find that in pictures this method just looks absolutely beautiful, which is why I only do it for like special occasions. Now I also like to contour around the rest of my face, so I do a little bit on my forehead just in the center I take a little bit of the concealer down the bridge of my nose and then to make my lips appear fuller on my cupid's bow and around the corners of my mouth now I'm looking a bit weird and crazy let's hope the postman doesn't ring the doorbell right now and then finally I take the concealer just below my cheekbone because that is really gonna make those cheekbones pop to blend this all in, I use my trusty Beauty Blender sponge. Now I actually use this a tiny bit damp and I use tapping and dabbing motions as you're going to see right now. As you can see for the start, I'm using the tip to blend most of the product in and the Beauty Blender sponge makes sure that the product looks totally, totally seamless. So with the sponge, I basically bounce and dab. I don't drag or rub or anything like that. So now I'm just going in concealing my under eye area and this does take a good couple of minutes so I like to dab and blend and bounce for a good couple of minutes until everything looks nice and seamless and you can see now that that half of my face looks really awake and uplifted and flawless and then I'm just doing the same on the other side now I was playing some music right now because it does get a little bit boring <laughs> doing all this bouncing and blending it does take a good amount of time to kind of blend everything in which is again why I don't do this on a daily basis now I love this next step and this is the MAC prep and prime pen and this is a yellow color and it just completely transforms the look and I do about three swipes on each side of my face as you can see now with this pen and then blend it in with my beauty blender the yellow tones are perfect because they're really uplifting they're so illuminating and they just add something extra special to the look now speaking of yellow I'm actually going to set everything with a yellow powder this one's from Bobbi Brown and yellow powders work wonders and yellow powders are perfect for keeping that high highlighted look without actually having to use a shimmery highlighter. So I'm using this on a fluffy brush just wherever I applied the concealer. This Bobbi Brown powder is amazing. It's so finely milled and it's perfect for setting the under eye area because it's not thick or heavy so you can hardly feel there's an extra layer there. Now to contour and I'm using my MAC Harmony contour powder which you can see I love because it's on its last legs. And I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush and just applying that in the hollows of my cheekbones using a funny little pout face I've got going on right now to try and figure out where to apply this now you can see the difference on that side my cheekbone just looks really prominent which I love so the little trick for contour is to imagine an invisible line from the center of your eye going down your face and then to only apply your contour on that side of your face oh and I just dropped my brush there but that was basically just to make sure that the contour doesn't drag your face down and then I go in to bronzer and I'm using my bourgeois chocolate 
bronzer today and I'm using my favorite bronzer brush from Sigma to apply this just around the edges of my face in a kind of E shape. Next I'm going to contour my nose with the same MAC Harmony contour powder and this MAC brush and I start where my eyebrow kind of begins in that little corner and I make sure there's minimal product on the brush and this brush is great because it's flat so it makes the job really easy and you basically just want to apply the product where the bridge of your nose meets the side of your nose to make everything look slimmer and more defined. And then I also apply the contour powder at the tip of my nose and this makes everything look shorter. Next is highlighter and I'm in love with the Balm Mary Luminizer. I think it's the most gorgeous product ever and I'm taking that on this Real Techniques Duo Fiber Brush on the high points of my cheekbones and then bringing it down to the apples of my cheeks. This makes cheeks look really juicy. It gives you the most beautiful kind of candlelit glow and really helps illuminate your face. Then I'm just taking a bit of the highlighter on my finger and applying it down the center of my nose and then I'm also going to highlight my lips so I'm just applying it on my cupid's bow and in the center of my lips and you can see instantly my lips just look super full and juicy. So that is everything for my contour and highlight routine video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do the same or similar kind of methods let me know what your favorite contour and highlight products are. If you enjoyed this video you can always give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and right now you're seeing on the screen my latest video which was an around London vlog so make sure you click on the video, click on me walking around right now and it will take you straight to the video and you can watch that. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon.